In a control room just outside Tokyo, scientists celebrate as their spacecraft touches down on an asteroid hundreds of millions of kilometers from Earth. I would like to confirm that Hayabusa 2 has touched down on asteroid Ryugu. Hayabusa 2 is a Japanese asteroid hunter. Its target, the asteroid named Ryugu, is thought to be as old as the solar system itself. It took more than four years traveling through space to reach Ryugu. The plan was after touchdown, it would extend a pipe and shoot a pinball-like bullet into the space rock to collect samples. JAXA made the first touchdown on the asteroid by Hayabusa 2. After they confirmed the data, they found that the steps to collect a sample from the asteroid was done successfully. While we don't yet know the details until it returns, I hope the asteroid sample will lead to providing a clue to the evolution of the solar system. Hayabusa 2 also deployed tiny rovers and a European-built lander to survey Ryugu's surface. It was a challenge because the asteroid was not what they expected. It was covered in boulders. The spacecraft had a landing zone of just six metres on the nearly kilometre-wide rock. Uh, I'm crazy about Hayabusa 2 because it's a very ambitious mission, like Japanese like to do, and uh, it has many firsts. So it's uh, the, the, it made the first detailed image of a potentially carbon-rich asteroid. It made the first deployment of mini rovers and a French-German lander on the surface of such a small body. And it's going to be the first sampling uh, on an asteroid. There are thought to be billions of asteroids revolving around the sun, rocks left over after our solar system was formed more than four billion years ago. Only once before has a spacecraft landed on one of them. Ryugu is carbon rich, the type of asteroid that could unlock mysteries around the origins of our solar system and life on Earth. But first, Hayabusa 2 must get back to Earth with its samples intact. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.